Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet the Berry Sparkles Finger Crochet Cow. This is a really fun and super fast project to make. We are gonna be using some fabulous sparkly yarn and uh, finger crochet, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, but it creates this kind of chunky textured fabric and our cow has a nice, it's generously sized, it's drapey, and it's really fun to wear. This also makes a perfect idea for a gift. You can make one up very, very quickly, and the yarn that we'll be using, there's lots of colors to choose from, or any super bulky yarn that you prefer. The finished cow measures about 12 inches tall and has an a circumference of about 32 inches. So like I said, it's, it's very generously sized it has a nice um, cozy drape to it. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors. Your fingers are gonna be your tools for this project. And you'll need your yarn. I'm gonna be using two balls of Boutique Twilight from Red Heart. Each one of these balls is 59 yards or 54 meters. If you're looking to substitute yarn, just look for something on the back here that is classified as a six on the yarn weight scale, super bulky. Um, they also, for crocheters, recommend a 10 millimeter hook, uh, knitters 10 millimeter needle. So just look for something that's similar. Gauge is not gonna be super important in this project because we're gonna be using our fingers to make it and it's gonna um, you know, be nice and loose and kind of drapey but um, just look for something that's chunky like this. Okay, so if you've never finger crocheted before, not to worry, it's super easy. We're just going to be pretending that our finger is our crochet hook. It's the same exact concept, just you're using your finger. So what we need to do to begin is to put a slip knot onto our finger. So wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind that loop, reach in with your finger, bring up that loop and tighten. Just like that. Next, we're going to make our chain. So our cow has a starting chain of 16, okay? So what we're gonna do to make a chain is to wrap the yarn around your finger and pull it through that loop, just like that. That's one chain, so super duper easy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, so here's our starting chain. It's pretty long. We're gonna have a nice, wide, kind of slouchy cow. It'll be really nice and drapey. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making single crochets. So in the second chain from your finger, this loop that's on your finger does not count. So let's count one chain and then two chains from your finger. So what you're going to do now is insert your finger into the middle of that chain, wrap the yarn around your finger, and bring up a loop. You now have two loops on your hand. Wrap the yarn around your finger again and bring it through both Whoops, bring it through both loops, just like that. So that's a single crochet stitch. Very easy to do when you're finger crocheting, okay? So do the same thing into the next chain. Stick your finger into the center of the chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around your finger, bring it through both loops, just like that, okay? It's gonna look very knotted and kind of ropey. Okay, so do the same thing. Insert your finger to the chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around your finger, bring it through both loops. Insert your finger to the next chain, bring up a loop, yarn around your finger, bring it through both loops. And then just keep doing this all the way across. This is a fabulous project for kids because they're not gonna be using any sharp tools, any hooks or needles or anything like that. Now there is, uh, for younger kids who are doing this, there is a, uh, you know, a part at the end where you cut the, with the scissors, but you know, if they need help with that, just help them with the scissors part. But this whole part, it's just fingers and yarn and it makes it really easy. Let's look at what we have so far. It's looking very pretty. 
very simple. Okay, so just keep doing this all the way across. And this yarn just really makes it a lot of fun. Okay, and I'm at the last chain, so I'm just doing the same thing, that last chain. This is a, also a great introduction for teaching kids how to crochet with hooks later on as well. They have the same, they'll have the same concept, just, you know, you can go ahead and add the tool in later when they're ready. So the, here's our first row. So for the remainder of our cowl, we're just going to be doing the same thing. So let's transition to the next row, and I'll show you how to do that. We're just repeating what we've done with the single crochets, except instead of working into chains, we're going to be working into stitches, okay? So what we're going to do is chain one and turn, just like that. Now, in the first stitch that you come to, it's going to look like a little loop at the top here. You see each one of these loops at the top of your work? These are all the stitches, okay? So we'll work a single crochet into each one of these stitches all the way across. So insert your finger into the stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around your finger, bring it through both loops. Same thing, we're just working into the stitches this time instead of the chains, okay? So insert your, see the stitch at the top? If you hold it up like this, you can see that that makes a loop. And if you look at it at the top, it's like a little V, okay? So insert your finger into that stitch, wrap the yarn around your finger, bring it through both loops. I'm just gonna get a little bit more yarn. You will cruise through your yarn pretty fast with this project. Okay, so just keep going. All the way across, working a single crochet in each stitch. This is a really fun and relaxing project. Nothing complicated, just very simple stitches. It's a great beginner crochet project. Or if you've been crocheting a while but have been curious about finger crocheting, this is a great place to start. Okay, so I'm just working in each stitch all the way across. You might have to, because it's so loopy, you might have to kind of open things up and straighten things out as you go. See how I'm kind of, you kind of wiggle it like that a little bit. Okay, so we're just working a single crochet in every stitch all the way across. And then in that last area here, the turning chain, you might have to look for it a little bit, but see, you can always tell because it's like a V on top and it's both of those loops, see? There's that, there it is. So also into the turning chain, you're gonna, the turning chain space, you're going to insert your finger into that as well, that, that loop that'll be at the end of the row and just do the same thing you've been doing, just work a single crochet right into that. Okay, so row one and row two is complete. Now, I wanted to mention as a side note, if you don't want your cowl to be this wide, so we're going to be making a big rectangle and then we'll be seaming it, seaming the edges. So it'll actually wrap around your neck this way. If you want your cowl to be a little bit shorter or if you um, are a younger person and want to just size yours a little bit smaller, just start with less chains. Instead of doing 16 chains, just do maybe 12 or even eight if you want it really short, okay? So this is 16, so if we fold it in half, eight chains would be about that much, so you can kind of see, okay? So what you wanna do to keep going is just repeat the second row that we did, row two, you just wanna repeat that over and over and over again until your cowl as is, is as, um, the circumference of it is as big as you'd like it to be or until you run out of yarn. I am going to work mine until I've used up both of these balls of yarn and then we will rejoin towards the end and I'll show you how to finish up your cowl. We're gonna seam it closed and then I'll show you how to weave in the ends. You don't even need a tapestry needle, we're just gonna do it with our fingers. So we'll rejoin in just a little bit and I'm gonna show you how to finish up your cowl. So just repeat row two over and over and over until it's as long as you would like it to be. Okay, so I'm just finishing that very last stitch, okay? 
and I just really went until I was out of yarn and I ended up getting about 32 inches. My rectangle is about 32 inches long from my starting edge until the very last row. And this strand of yarn, we're gonna use that to seam up our cowl. So just make sure you have enough yarn. This is about a 60 inch piece. I went ahead and measured it. So what we're gonna do is just fasten off. So just pull the yarn through that last loop left. Just pull it all the way through and just pull snug to secure. Next, we're ready to seam. So to seam our cow, what we're gonna do is fold it in half. So here is the edge, the last row we worked with our long tail, we're gonna use that to seam. And then this is the edge where we began. So you can see the little tail that we have and we can take care of that later. So what you wanna do is sandwich the edges together and line them up. And we're gonna do an, a whip stitch seam. Now normally, if you watch this channel on a regular basis, we'll, we do a whip stitch seam with a tapestry needle. But we can do this with our fingers um, because it's so chunky. So just line everything up and what you're gonna do is put your finger through one of the loops and then just bring the yarn through. Now our single crochet fabric that we've created is reversible, so it really doesn't matter when you fold it which side it's on. So we're just gonna weave this all the way across. Just sew it with our hands, okay? This is similar, if you've ever tried arm knitting, this is a similar uh, way of we, that we seam that we've done in past projects. Okay, and it's super easy and fast. So we're just going in both loops of both layers. So just make sure you're going through both loops of both layers, pulling it through. Now I gave myself, uh, like I mentioned before, this yarn tail here is about 60 inches long. It wasn't enough, I don't think, to complete another row. It may have been, but I wanted to give myself more than enough yarn to create this seam. You don't wanna um, come up short, even if that means holding off on making another row with your cowl. So I just kind of held off um, when I had a nice long tail to work with here. Okay, so I'm just coming all the way down and as you can see, because it's so thick and chunky, um, it goes pretty quickly. Okay, so we're just going through both layers of both edges, keeping everything nice and lined up because when you get to the end, you don't want to be surprised by there being a lot of overlap. A little bit of overlap you can compensate for, but a lot um, may cause a problem. Okay, coming up to the end here. And this cowl, this project, is a great idea for a gift. If you need to very quickly whip something up for a pretty yet quick uh, gift. And cowls, um, for the most part, will fit pretty much anyone. So if you make it not too snug, it, it can fit pretty much anyone. So this makes a lovely gift as well. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the edge with my tail. And then we've arrived at this other tail from before. So I just wanna get one more in there just to make sure everything's nice and secure and our seam looks nice and neat. So what I'm gonna do is take this tail and this tail and just tie them together to make sure it's secure. Just tie it once, tie it twice, snug it up, and then we can even take our two tails and just weave them in a little bit. Just come in with that tail and then you can do the other tail. So once everything is woven in, you'll have a little bit of a seam here. So go ahead and turn your cowl. It now has a, even though our fabric was reversal, we now have a, an inside and an outside because of our seam. So we can look at our handiwork from the outside. And I didn't mention this before, but I would recommend looking at your seam as you're creating it and, and just make sure you're on the right track. So you can see our seam looks nice and neat. 
and our cowl is complete. It looks great. It's nice and even though it's chunky, it still has a nice kind of soft drape to it. So that is how you crochet the Berry Sparkles Finger Crochet Cowl. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.